local man is locked up, charged with shooting and killing his wife. This happened last night. Police say that James Hayes murdered his wife because she didn't want to get back together with him. It's just one of several cases of domestic abuse that police say lead to killings. Angela Ingram joins us live now with where abuse victims can turn. Angela. Cami, advocates here at Women Helping Women say the numbers are really alarming. In fact, there was a breakfast this morning to discuss some of the issues, but they say there are programs in place to help. Thursday, James Hayes was in court. Police say Hayes drove to Sportswood Commons in Claremont County after he realized his wife, Jeanette, did not want to reconcile. Uh, we're set today for a, a bond hearing, uh, charges murder. People who work to help abuse survivors say the Hayes case shows how extreme a case can get. All month long, during Domestic Violence Awareness Month, there have been marches, vigils, and events to bring awareness. Gender-based violence is a public health epidemic. Kristen Shrimplin of Women Helping Women says by the end of the year, the organization will have helped 9,000 survivors. When we looked at Hamilton County in 2017, we had a 70% spike in domestic violence homicides. The organization has partnered with the Cincinnati Police Department to help. CPD sees its fair share of cases, like Curtis Scott. Earlier this year, he was accused of kidnapping and beating his girlfriend in the West End. The incident sparked a response from the SWAT team. The numbers don't surprise me. They are alarmingly high. Um, I mean, literally, we have made thousands of calls with our divert advocates since this the inception of the program. DIVERT stands for Domestic Violence Enhanced Response Team. Trained advocates from Women Helping Women now respond to domestic violence calls with officers. We can take control and complete the criminal investigation and then all of those collateral issues that come with domestic violence type of offenses, uh, worrying about whether somebody has a place to stay that is safe, uh, worrying about what happens with the process of the court system. Assistant Chief Mike John believes more women are reporting abuse, and although there are still domestic violence homicides, Shrimplin says advocates are helping. Violence is learned, and so something that's learned can be unlearned. Women helping women used to respond within the first 24 hours of a call of domestic violence in Cincinnati. Now that response time is immediate at the same time as the officers. Reporting live from downtown Cincinnati, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you, Angela. And James Hayes is in jail on a $1 million bond for murder.